Hey, what's cracking everybody? On today's video, we're going to take a look at Helium OS. Helium OS 10 Alpha. This is a uh, says right here that it is in an atomic desktop operating system for your devices. So with Helium OS, you can install apps, discover thousands of Linux applications using the software center. Uh, work and play, be productive and have fun with the KDE de Plasma desktop and develop use tools from a variety of containerized linux distributions with distrobox okay so basically reading right here it's telling you about the software manager that it uses the desktop environment that it uses and it comes with the uh distrobox so you can actually install apps from other types of uh distro environments like arch fedora ubuntu uh, I think this is Nix. Could be wrong, but basically from from any other uh, you know branch of the Linux family, you can install applications. So uh, let's take a look at the about and see what this one is actually based on. So from June 2024, Helium OS version nine alpha available, based on CentOS Stream Nine. This release establishes Helium OS as an atomic Linux distribution using boot C for immutability. All right, and then right here is based on Alma Linux. Uh, looks like it is still a Fedora type based system. So uh, we're just going to call it that a Fedora type based system. All right, so uh, I got it up in the uh, virtual machine. So let's head on over there and take a look at. Uh, Helium OS. Okay, and here we are on the virtual machine, and you can see right here, this looks like it is the uh, Anaconda installer. So we'll go ahead and uh, go through the options so we can get it installed. And when I say Fedora base, you know, Red Hat, CentOS, Alma Linux, all of those fall under the Fedora Red Hat, uh, you know, environment. So right now, English, English United States is selected by default. Click on continue. All right. So everything that has a triangle right here, I have to uh, tend to. So the first thing we're going to do is go to keyboard, English US, select it. And click on done all right the triangle went away uh date and time right now it's set to america new york i'm going to change that to los angeles there it is automatic date and time uh i'm trying to set it to a.m. p.m. but oh i have to go to manual and then i'll set it to a.m. p.m. all right i'm happy with that click on done uh installation destination does not have a a warning but uh let me click on it anyways select this highlight it uh automatic i did not want to encrypt so i'll click on done kick start insufficient please complete items marked with it what is a kick start Okay, I selected it. All right, it went away. Don't know why it did it the first time, but uh, oh well. Now let's check on network. Right now, selected Ethernet because I am connected to a uh, Ethernet cable. Select done. All right, root account. Disable root account. Enable root account. Now I'll give it a strong and complicated password. That's not one tool, of course. Allow root SSH login with password. Sure. And I believe I'm going to have to click done twice. So once, twice. All right. Now we'll do a user creation. And the user, of course, is going to be Linux Hub. And the password is going to be uh, strong and complicated. And it's not one, two. All right. And again, I'm going to have to click twice because I got a strong and complicated password. And it looks like all the options are satisfied. So let's go ahead and begin installation. 
and away it goes so i'll go ahead and uh, pause the video now and when we come back we should be rebooted into helium os the atomic desktop environment and we are rebooted into the system now and you can see right here we got our welcome screen and we are using the uh, plasma desktop environment so the welcome screen is pretty standard on uh, plasma systems and uh, this is the plasma 6 version uh, usually you can tell by the floating uh, panel but uh, let's go through this uh, welcome screen real quick welcome welcome to helium os operating system run kde plasma Plasma is a free and open source desktop environment created by KDE, an international software community of volunteers. It is designed to be simple by default for a smooth experience, but powerful when needed. To help you really get things done, we hope you love it. And simple by default, tells you about the desktop environment. Uh, powerful when needed, Tells you uh, curated apps for uh, system settings, KDE, KRunner, Vaults, Activities, Overview. Uh, manage software, Discover, the software manager. Uh, share anonymous user information, nope. You can do that if you want, but I always say nope. We hope you love Plasma as much as we love making it for you. Now it's time to jump right in, explore features, install your favorite apps and games, and get busy doing what makes you you. And you click on finish. And this is Helium OS. So as stated before, we are in a plasma desktop environment with the panel on the bottom. We've got our system tray on the right, pinned applications on the left, and our applications menu. And the applications menu has uh, favorites, all applications development, internet, settings, system, utilities, and a help center. And you also have your sleep, restart, shutdown, and leave buttons. You have a search menu, and then you have a, what's this right here? Configure applications launcher. So click it on this, what does it do? Uh, opens up options to uh, configure the application launcher. all right so uh some of the things it talked about was being atomic i'm not sure why it's atomic let me look at the applications we got angelfish arc i don't really see much stuff on here i mean it, it, there's not really a light here a lot here uh because I am looking under all applications and pretty much I don't see anything that stands out. You see under development, internet, settings. Ooh. Yeah, I don't see uh, maybe this, uh, what is this, angelfish? I mean, it just says web browser. The ad blocker is missing its filters list. Do you want to download them now? So, let's see, what is this based on? It doesn't say. I guess it's its own web browser. It looks like it could be uh, based on Mozilla or something like that, but. Uh, Let's see. Ah, there's no. Uh, uh, the search. English browser. All in one privacy browser. We don't track you. So this is DuckDuckGo. Okay, KDE applications, Angelfish. make this bigger angelfish is a modern mobile web browser it supports typical browser features such as bookmarks history tabs this button only works with discover and other app stream application stores you can also use your distributions package manager so angelfish must be something uh, related to kde because it works with the discover uh, software center uh but you could also install it on flathub and snap store but uh is there an about 
There's just information about KDE and Plasma. So, alrighty then. Well, that was Angel Fitch. And next to that, we have a Dolphin, standard uh, Plasma desktop environment. You got your desktop documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, templates, and videos. Standard file manager. Then we do have Discover. Discover is going to be the software manager and let it go through its uh, repo list before we get started. So, all right, the repos have all tallied up. So, uh, let's test it out real quick. Let's say GIMP. Right here, it's installed from FlatHub. So, we'll go ahead and do it. Right here, you see the progress. It's going through it right here. Uh, it didn't ask me for a password. I don't know if it will. We'll just uh, hang tight and see if it does. But anyways, while I was doing that, we'll open up the uh, system settings. Uh, I just looked at the KDE desktop the other day, and basically from the system settings right here, this is where you could change all the features that are on your desktop. You know, change the look and feel, change the wallpaper. You can change everything right here from the uh, system settings. So on the left-hand side, you have all the options of what you want to uh, change. And when you click on it, you get all your configuration uh, options right here on the uh, right. All right, and it looks like GIMP has finished installing. So let's go ahead and go back into the uh, graphics and let's open it up. And it installed without a problem. So Discover is working out of the box, no issues whatsoever, and it's working well. Alrighty, uh, so it's supposed to have distro, distro box so that uh, we can uh, install stuff from other systems. Okay, there's a command to run distro box. So let's go ahead and click on that. Bruh. I don't see anything happening. So, uh, I wonder if DistroBox is even installed. I don't think it is, because nothing's happened. So, uh, yeah. There's minimal software on here. Like, look, on the graphics, all we have is GIMP because I just downloaded it. For internet, you got Angelfish. Settings, you got your firewall and system settings. System, these are all the options for your system. You got Discover, Dolphin, Firewall, which we saw under settings. Journal D browser, KDE partition manager, console, K wallet manager, main editor, system monitor. It's a it's a pretty uh, virgin uh, KDE installation. So you basically have to fill it yourself. You have to install all the software you want to install. But from reading on the website, it said it was a atomic that it was you know had all these security features, and that it had DistroBox, so you could install applications from other desktop environments. But from what I see right here, um. It's just a virgin installation of a uh, KDE on top of a uh, you know Fedora based system. That's pretty, you know what? Let me just check over here real quick. That's power management, networks, most recent device, screen brightness, and volume. Yeah, I don't see distro uh, box anywhere on here. So, uh... all right. Well, if you want a virgin system that's a uh, Fedora based with the KDE desktop environment. This is the one for you. Other than that, there's really not much to say about the system. It is pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, as far as any errors or anything like that, I don't think I got any. Yeah, I didn't get any errors or anything like that. So everything's working. I opened up the file manager, system settings, discover, and this Blowfish browser. Yeah, everything that I open, you know, seems to work. So, uh, yeah, no issues whatsoever. But, uh, I maybe uh somebody that knows the system you can leave me a comment and tell me uh if I did something wrong during the installation because uh I don't see nothing that was advertised about this distro on here at all. I don't see distro box, I don't see the atomic mess, I don't see nothing. Nothing at all tells me uh tells me uh why they would put that on the website when it doesn't happen. But I mean, it is an alpha release, so you know, errors are expected. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at.
all right you guys if uh you're new to the channel please go ahead and subscribe if they like the video you just saw please go ahead and uh, give it a thumbs up if not by all means give it a thumbs down it's all fair game all right you guys and i'm out